कोडिंग एंड सेट में किस टाइप के क्वेश्चन आते हैं कितनी कोडिंग आनी चाहिए इस टेस्ट को क्रैक करने के लिए और एक एक्चुअल क्वेश्चन कैसे सोल्व होता है स्टेप बाय स्टेप हे एवरी वन दिस इज विवान मोंगा इंस्ट्रक्टर एट न्यूटन स्कूल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक यू थ्रू ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन इन अ मोर सिस्टमेटिक एंड ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड मैन इन कोडिंग एंड सेट द रियल क्वेश्चन इज वॉट एग्जैक्टली यू नीड टू नो टू क्रैक इट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू वॉक यू थ्रू फर्स्ट द काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू गोना सी second what level you need to prepare for third a real coding answer style problem solved step by step a little bit about me i'm a software engineer before joining newton school of technology i spent years solving problems from school level to real world scale and today i'm going to help you to get started stay till the end i'm also giving you a tip to ace the coding answer avoid silly mistake but the most wins too so what to expect in coding answer let's start with the test is actual about So coding and set is India's first entrance test exam purely based on your coding skills no physics no chemistry just code these will be your test to logical thinking and how well you write code and how you optimize it we are talking about the question based on concepts like arrays strings loops conditions and a bit of more problem uh, solving mindset you don't need to be a lead code pro but you should be comfortable with writing code. Now let's talk about the platform. Coding and set runs on an online coding platform. It's similar to what you see uh, what you have seen in like hacker rank or code courses. You will be given a problem statement. Your job is to write a function that takes input as mentioned in the question and prints the correct output exactly as required. Remember input and output format matters. Even if your logic is right, wrong formatting can get you a zero. All right. Let's jump straight into the problem. We are given a sorted array of integers and if you'll see here it is one index array meaning the first element of the index is 1 not 0. Our goal is to find two numbers in this array that add up to a specific target value and once we find those two numbers we need to return the indices remembering starting from 1 not from 0 as it will result in array of index 1 comma index 2 right and if you uh, focus on this part it is specifically says there is only one solution guaranteed and we cannot use the same element twice right and also there is an important constraint here we cannot use a lot of space right so there is no extra arrays or no hash maps and if you go again here if there are no solution then we need to return minus 1 comma minus 1 So how do we do it? Because the array is sorted, a two-pointer approach works perfectly here. We place one pointer at the start of the array and the second pointer at the last of the array. The starting one we will call the low and the end one we will call the high. Then we will check the sum of the uh, two numbers. Low plus high. If the sum is equivalent to target, we will return the indices. If the sum is less than the target, then we'll move to move the left one to find the bigger number if the sum is greater than the target we will move the right one to find the smaller number we'll keep on doing that until we find the target value which will be in this case 2 and 7 results in 9 which will match the target value 9 right so now let's quickly jump and uh, write the code so i am very comfortable with the python so i am using that you can choose any language and uh, the approach will not change i will quickly uh, uh, put my code here so like i said we need to have two pointers to solve this question one will be pointing to the start of the array and one will be pointing to the end of the array walk through all the array to check if there is a target there is the there are two numbers which meet the target here if you will focus it is checking if low is smaller than high why because if the high is greater than low that means it is definitely crossing each other and they have not found any number uh, any two numbers which were equivalent to target so that's why they will return minus 1 comma minus 1 and if let's suppose there is a sum which is equivalent to the target it will return indices of low plus 1 and high plus 1 because our array is one index it is not the zero index let's suppose sum is smaller than the target so we will move the low 2 plus 1 because to find in order to find the bigger number whereas 
if the target is greater than sum then we will reduce one number from the high in order to find the smaller index let's quickly run this code as you can see it is running everything and it says it is successful test case 0 1 0 to 6 it has run successfully before we wrap up a few tips for anyone attempting coding in set read the problem carefully many students miss small details think before you code plan your logic and write clean code always test your code with sample and edge cases and remember it's about being smart consistent and calm under pressure if you like this breakdown we'll be doing more of these in the coming weeks go practice stay curious we'll see you on the other side of the coding and chat all the best thank you so much